Hey everybody, I'm Deborah Bird and you're watching Earth Sky and I'm here to tell you not just what you can see in the night sky, but also how you can feel more connected to it. So the moon is waxing right now and we'll be showing some charts of the moon passing near planets over the coming five nights. But first, this is the best time in two years to see the planet Mars. And this animation shows the orbits of Earth and Mars. And as you can see, Mars, which is that reddish planet there, orbits outside of Earth's orbit. So we on Earth are moving around the sun, even as I speak, at about 18 miles per second. And Mars, meanwhile, is just poking along at about 15 miles per second. So every two years, Earth gains a lap on Mars, and that's what's happening now. So this event is called an opposition of Mars. Mars is about to be opposite the sun in our sky and closest to Earth for this two-year period. So Mars is very bright now and very red in color. And again, it's happening between Earth is passing between Mars and the sun. So the exact date on that is January 15th and 16th. Plus, the moon is up there too, and it'll be sweeping past Mars and our our sky, and I'm going to show you a chart of what that awesome event is going to look like. But first, let's look at the sky tonight. So really, this chart is pretty good for the coming 10 days or so. And there are really four planets that you can see in the evening sky now. Venus in the west after sunset, Saturn getting closer to Venus every night. We're going to be talking about that on Monday's live stream. Uh, Jupiter, very bright, high in the sky, and Mars over to the east uh, in the evening and very red in color. And so as I mentioned, uh, the moon is waxing now, so the moon is up there too. And if you look outside tonight, which is the night of January 9th, you'll see the moon near a really bright object, and that'll be Jupiter. So you can see that the moon is right next to what's called the Pleiades here. The Pleiades is also called the Seven Sisters. And in fact, some people are going to see the moon go in front of the Pleiades, which will be really cool. The Pleiades will be behind the moon. So if you don't see that little dipper-shaped cluster near the moon, it could be that you're in a place where the moon is blotting out the Pleiades. But you'll for sure notice Jupiter, because Jupiter and the moon are the two brightest things up there tonight. And if you miss them tonight, try tomorrow night, because the moon will be even closer to Jupiter on January 10th. And if you miss both of those, don't worry, because the moon sweeps past Jupiter once every month. And so it'll be there next month, too, around the night of February 6th. So Jupiter is really bright. You can see on this chart that Jupiter and the moon are the two brightest things up there. Jupiter is really bright in our sky. It's our sky's second brightest planet. So if Jupiter and the moon are going to look so amazing tonight and tomorrow night, and they are going to look amazing, uh, but why then am I here to talk about Mars? And the answer is that Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. And here it is in contrast to Earth. Jupiter's on the right and Earth is on the left. And Earth is just this teeny tiny little ball next to great big Jupiter. So Jupiter is so big that it's always bright in our sky. No matter where Earth and Jupiter are in their orbits, uh, Jupiter and Earth or Jupiter as seen from Earth, is always very, very bright. But meanwhile, Mars is smaller than Earth. So the object on the left here is the Earth, and the object on the right is Mars, little Mars, the planet next door. And so because Mars is so small, its brightness waxes and wanes in our sky. And so right now, Mars is brightest for this two-year period. And that's why this month, uh, January 2025, is so special for Mars. 
And I just have to show you this again. So Earth will be passing between Mars and the Sun on January 15, 16. And it's not that it's going to take us two days to go between it. That's just because that date is different across different time zones on the Earth. But this is a whole Earth event. And it's an event where all of us on Earth uh, you know, share it in common. And here's another event that we share. On January 12th, Earth and Mars will be closest together. So January 12th is a few days before we go between Mars and the Sun. And it's happening before that other date because planets don't orbit in perfect circles around the Sun. They have a nearest point to the sun and the farthest point from the sun and Mars reached its perihelion or closest point to the sun in May of 2024. And now Mars is getting farther and farther and farther from the sun every day, every minute it's getting farther from the sun. And so that's why its closest point to us comes on January 12th, even though we pass between it and the sun on January 15, 16. So, okay, now check this out. On January 12th, the day that Mars is closest to the sun, it'll be really easy to pick Mars out in the sky because the moon will be near it. And there will be two stars nearby as well that you'll want to notice. Those are Castor and Pollux, the twin stars of Gemini. They don't really look alike, but they're part of the constellation Gemini the Twins. Uh, but Mars is brighter than either one of these stars. And notice where the moon is. On January 12th, the moon is close to Castor, Pollux, and Mars, which will make kind of a line in the sky. So that'll be a cool day to see Mars. But the big day for Mars isn't January 12th. Uh, and it isn't even January 15, 16, when we go between Mars and the sun. Instead, mark your calendar for January 13th. Because that's the day that the moon will be really close to Mars. So that's a big night for Mars in 2025. So any of you who've never been able to pick out Mars in the sky, on January 13th, you can, because that's a full moon, and the full moon will be right next to Mars. So you might know that a full moon is opposite the sun, and uh, the sun goes down and the full moon comes up, and that's exactly what's going on with Mars right now. Uh, as the sun goes down, Mars is coming up. So that's an opposition for the moon, and it's an opposition for Mars. And that's why this month's full moon is sweeping near Mars. So on that night of January 13th, that's a great night to just picture yourself on the earth and with the sun below your feet and you're looking up overhead to see this super cool view of Mars and the moon above you because it's not just something that you see it's something that you're taking part in because you're in between the sun on the one hand and Mars and the moon on the other hand so when you see them think about that Oh, and by the way, from some parts of the world on this day, the moon is going to pass in front of Mars. Okay, now I'm almost done, but I just want to show you a few photos from our community of the moon and Mars. So this one is from Richard Swika in Florida, uh, an Earth Sky community member. Thank you, Richard. He caught them last month, which was the last time that the moon was near Mars. And he took a picture of it with a camera, but we also see lots of amazing pictures of the moon and the planets uh, that people take with mobile phones. So here is a telescopic view of the moon and Mars, also from December when the moon passed near Mars a month ago. Uh, this one is from Robert Rebocas in Massachusetts, and you might be able to see that Mars looks a little pinkish here. And if you see Mars in the sky, you will definitely notice it looks red. So here's my last photo. Nancy Bracagliano in New York captured this with a telescope in the year 2020, which was a couple of Martian oppositions ago when Mars was again closest to Earth. And Nancy is also a member of the Earth Sky community. And here's how you can be one.
come to Earth Sky and submit a photo. And if you don't want to submit a photo, just join a conversation or join the conversation here on YouTube because we would love to hear from you. So that's our show. Thank you for joining us for Earth Sky. I'm Deborah Bird. One Earth, one sky, Earth Sky. <laughs>